Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit into 2002 Honda Odyssey. Uh, we're gonna start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need a Phillips uh, screwdriver and you can also, it's good to have a flathead screwdriver. And we'll start off with saying that uh, this car somebody added uh, this uh, disc player. So when you're gonna put the kit on this particular car, this is gonna be disabled. Uh, but the kit will work the same way. If you have a six disc changer uh, Then the kit will not work with your car and if you have a, a double din uh, this single disc player and you're gonna be adding a kit to that uh, Your disc player will still work just installations with the disc player like this the external one the one that has been added are gonna be disabled so we're just letting you know I will start off with uh, removing this uh, trim panel and uh, we're going to be using our hands over here behind the gear selector knob. <coughs> Basically you just pop it out. First time it might be a little harder. It's also good to uh, kind of put the car in neutral so you can get it out. There's one thing that is holding it and that is this uh, the switch which you have to disconnect right here you're gonna press that tab and it's gonna disconnect that's where we're gonna use our flathead screwdriver we're just gonna press it and disconnect it like that and now it's gonna come off make sure you put it back to park and turn turn it off and take out the keys take out the keys so we're gonna put this to the side because uh, it's not really in our way and uh, once you take it off you're gonna see four screws and they're right here so two on each side two here and two here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove all all of them right now so we just took out the four screws and now the radio is ready to come out uh, i'm just gonna take it take it out just like that here in the back you're gonna see this connection it's occupied. This is where a kit is gonna go, and as you can see, it goes to this uh, external disc player which uh, somebody added after they bought the car. So we're gonna take it out, and that's what's gonna disable it. That's why it's not gonna work. So we're gonna just rest the radio for now and show you the kit. The kit looks like this. You have the module in the middle, and uh, on the back you have this is what's gonna go into the back of the radio, and then you have connection for the any Apple product and also the auxiliary so you have basically a module and three cables very simple so we're gonna take this connection take the radio out again and put it in the back just like that make sure it's connected good I'm gonna now put it back and test the radio and make sure that everything is working fine and properly so we're gonna put into first position right now we're in our regular FM mode we're gonna press the CD button uh, it's gonna say track 7 disc 4 and if you were to listen to the auxiliary right now uh, it's still gonna say the same thing uh, we're gonna unlock our iPhone as you can hear it's playing through the auxiliary but with the auxiliary you only get the sound and if you have an Apple product uh, it's better to use the Apple cable so we're gonna plug it in it might give you a warning message but just dismiss it it's gonna start charging the iPhone and as you can see it's uh, it's locked right now so we're gonna go to disc 1 disc 1 is our hybrid mode in which uh, you can switch songs both from the radio and from the iPhone I just knew how to change with this button it switches as you can see I'm controlling it through the radio another cool feature that we have even with this older style radios is that uh, you can listen to your music by playlist and this car supports five playlists so right now we're in disc one uh, track five which is uh, which is like I said hybrid mode what you can do is you switch to disc 2 and it locks the iPod and this is our first playlist 
so we can just put uh, the iPod iPhone away and, and just switch the songs from here uh, of course this car doesn't support text but uh, we just have to show you the features it has so disc 3 is our second playlist our third playlist fifth I mean fourth and fifth so disc 6 is our fifth playlist and if you want to unlock the iPod back we just go back to disc 1 and it unlocks it and uh, that, that's that's pretty much it for the control and using of uh, the system the next step you gotta do is to run the wires and there's a couple of places so you can run into this bottom pocket which uh, how you have to do it is take the radio out and uh, you have to use uh, some type of a coat hanger and just feed it to the side here there's an opening there it's hard to see but there's an opening and you just drop your wires in there and also you can uh, drop it to the glove box you can put it through the side you can open the glove box you don't really have to do much you can just as you can see like even like with reaching your hands back and putting your fingers towards that way you can see them so you just have to fish the wire in both cases in whichever case you're gonna wherever you're gonna run the wire you, you have to fish it and uh, that's pretty much it as I said before if you're listening to auxiliary it's gonna say check uh, 7 disc 1 that's normal once you connect the iPod is gonna change and everything else will work the same way like your radio will still work and uh, as we said before if you have a built-in CD player inside your radio not like this one it's still gonna work uh, if you have a six disc changer that's when this uh, iPod integration is not compatible with your car if you have a built-in six disc changer in this car and otherwise that's it you can now start enjoying your music in your 2002 Honda Odyssey with our GTA car kit I hope you like the video and we'll see you next time